We are looking at the Galil Ace in 5.56 rifle with a side folding stock. Coming up next on GB Guns. Alright, guys, welcome back to GB Guns. Very excited today to have the Galil Ace 5.56 side folding stock. So, you know we love the AK. AK is by far our favorite platform. But 556, 223, much more common readily available in the US. The Glial Ace is essentially an AK inside, which we'll get to, but feeds 556 from AR mags and came with this Magpul Gen 3 windowed magazine. Lots of features on this gun, let's get started. So of course, as always, we'll start off by showing clear. You can see the chamber is clear there. I can do that because this is a left side charging. It is a reciprocating charging handle and it's got one of those plates that uh, functions and flips back and forth to keep stuff out of there. Um, always wanted a left sided charging AK, this has it. Let's go up to the front. Right, we've got our birdcage style flash hider. Notice the gas block is a bit different from an AK. I'm going to try not to say AK a billion times, but I think I probably will. There's our front sight. Rather pointy, but I want to show you it's got a little bit of tritium. That white dot there on the center is actually tritium, which is pretty neat. We've got our rounded grip with a hand stop. These panels, by pushing down on one of the buttons, slide off to reveal your rail space. Full length rail across the top, all the way through the back. There's our charging handle. Magazine release is on both sides, just like an AR, it's just a simple push button. You've got a safety selector here for your thumb. Let me charge it first. This can be actuated with the shooter's right thumb, or you can do the conventional AK style finger sweep between safe and fire here, which is kind of neat. The rear sight is a peep sight with, once again, two little vials of tritium. You see those white dots there? So you effectively already have night sights, which is pretty neat. The lower end of the receiver is plastic, which includes the magwell, widely flared. I was actually shocked how wide this was. Look at all that space to the sides of it. Lots of room there for sloppy, quick reloads. Another neat thing with this, ready for it, drum roll. There we go. Last round hold open. Holds open on an empty magazine and stays open, which is pretty cool. Until you put in your next magazine or just have to magazine. interject on top of what I just did because I just figured something out. This button here is your bolt release. So, locks back on an empty mag, mag drops free. You can either pull back and go on the left side, like on the HK, or Bring this button down to let the bolt go forward. Pretty cool. The trigger is a broad, flat face. I will say the trigger pull on this isn't great. It's very AK-esque, but uh, I'm okay with that. And we have an adjustable stock. This cheek riser is optional. I threw it on there just to see how it would work. It's obviously much too high for using these irons. But if you throw a scope on all of this rail space, you've got a riser. Stock folds by coming down and over and locks firmly into place, bringing this thing nice and short. Let's take a look inside the gun. We'll do a field strip. All right, so you might have noticed the tab back here, just like on the AK, sticks out quite a bit farther. This gun fits very snugly, and I'm curious to see uh, what kind of accuracy that adds. 
uh, over the conventional platform. But anyways, we're going to push in on this tab, pull to the side and up. There we go. And that comes off. Here's our spring. Notice it has this uh, recoil buffer on it. And there's even a little rubber piece back here. Bring that. It's interesting. Get it pulled out. And you might have noticed that the gas tube comes loose just like that too. So the gas tube no longer needs uh, all that struggling to uh, pry free like on AKs. It's really just pressed and held in place. Locked into a spot through these slots here those tabs and then of course on the end. Interesting opening down here. I'll have to learn more to figure out what that's about. We see we've got plenty of heat shielding. There's our chamber and bullet guide. Nice one piece all machined together. Long rails and the trigger mechanism itself looks a lot like a dual hook AK setup. That must be our bolt hold open. And I'm going to have to learn some more about this gun uh, as we take it out and shoot it because as you can see there are some things that are certainly different about it than uh, the AK. It's not just a 5.56 AK. Take a look at our bolt. Always looks funny in 5.56. carrier and piston. Very nicely machined. Into the piston has this triangle here which I think is interesting. Smooth edges. Very very nicely put together which is what we would expect from IWI. The top cover, the rear sight is removable. Comes with the tool for doing that, for adjusting. And you can see that uh, even looks like this rail could come off if need be. This piece here is how you center the rail and prep it for the reinsertion, which uh, takes a bit of energy. And you can see they've even reinforced with an extra piece on the back end of the top cover. So what are your thoughts on this so far? I'm excited to get this thing out and shoot it. We're going to have to get a proper optic set up as well. Uh, I don't know if we're going to run just red dot, like battle rifle style, or if we'll take it out and see what kind of accu accuracy we can get out of it. Tell me uh, what you want to see and what your thoughts are. I'm really excited. This is uh, an interesting evolution of the original Galil. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching GB Guns. If you've waited this long, you either appreciate what we're doing, or you're trying to formulate some type of argumentative con comment and uh, get the fight going. Either way, click the big griffin up here to subscribe and see our upcoming videos. Don't forget, by the way, to click on that little bell thing. That gives you notification, lets you know when there's a new video. Down here is the link for our Patreon. Google revenues have cut. Those covered most of our ammo costs and expenses. If you subscribe to Patreon, you get a sneak peek at some of our videos before they go out to the general public. Those of you doing $10 or more a month do get one of our GB Guns patches. These are quite limited because this stuff's expensive. Up here is a video that Google suggests you like based on your watching history. I don't know if it's any good or not. You tell me. And then down here is the playlist most relevant to the video you just watched. Keep in mind, some of these videos fit in more than one playlist. I select one, that's what gets there. But uh, anyways, that's the way the channel works, and thanks again for watching.